Hello and welcome to Read Media Production. The Subconscious Mind in its Illuminating Light and Interpretation by Janet Young. Forward. Awakening the subconscious powers releases masterful forces. The subconscious region of the mind is capable of independent action. The universe is governed by law. The universe of being is subject to law. The laws must be followed. The subjective powers respond to suggestion. Mankind is divinely endowed with dominion and reason must control. These spiritual powers are given to manifest God on earth and for use. To obtain the highest results, the objective and subjective minds must act in harmony and for good. Faith in, and the realization that we have these powers and clear thought directed by the willpower persistently maintained demonstrates ideals and proves the revelation. Mind Light And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over all the earth. So God created man in his own image, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. The Bible, Genesis. Ask and it shall be given unto you, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. The Bible, Saint Matthew. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said ye are gods, the Bible, Saint John. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all severally as he will. The Bible, Corinthians. A great and sacred Spirit talks indeed within us, but cleaves to its divine original. Seneca. The mind is magnetic and draws to itself whatever it most earnestly determines. To distinguish its different aspects, that part of the mind in daily use has been termed the objective, and the region that does the deep thinking the subjective mind. The subjective has been proved to be capable of independent action. The earth is circled with invisible etheric magnetic currents an intermediary in transmitting energy proved in wireless. The ether is a divine agent for the use of mankind to sustain life and to utilize its properties for the betterment of life. The mind through intelligent concentration may connect thought with these limitless etheric currents or spiritual forces belting and encircling space. These forces are governed by the law that demand creates supply. To demonstrate mind power knowledge of the law is essential. We must feel our identity with divine powers through the indwelling spirit. Faith must be maintained. Every thought is a force, thought connects with these ether vibrations and attracts results according to the quality of the thought sent out. Concentration upon ideals reiteration that power is inherent only awaiting recognition understanding that faith controls these forces or infinite power manifesting in mankind and the higher spiritual law will establish the answer according to the intensity and activity of the will of the seeker. We know that these etheric currents permeate all space and all life and substance, and that by means of these waves of energy encircling and belting the earth vibrations and impressions are conveyed to the mind responding to the direction of the thought and will intelligently directed. Jesus taught the knowledge of these spiritual forces and authorized their use. Mind light may command a continuous field of intelligence and activity. The powers of the subconscious or subjective mind or soul are now being more generally understood. Its means of information must be of divine origin, as it can be accounted for and explained in no other way. Through its agency divine power is communicated by enabling the mind faculties to advance in the comprehension of modes of energy determined by the nature and direction of the will. God created man in his own image image is a counterpart. The Spirit was breathed into man by God himself when we became living souls and were given dominion over things so we have divine authority for its command and control and it becomes our privilege to study the laws and demonstrate the powers of the subconscious activities. 
Practical results are now demanded and its principles applied to all things for use and the betterment of life. Practical results may be evolved from our ever-increasing divinely created powers which our intellect will more and more enable us to manifest in accomplishment for good and the betterment of life for the many. The foundation of all religion is the same, whether we consider mankind as a reflection of God or a partaker of the attributes of divinity, or mankind created in God's own image or counterpart. Knowledge and understanding of the subconscious mind powers bring God nearer to mankind by demonstrating our God-given powers. All life is an advance, each receptive mind forwarding the thoughts that have been thought before, broadening the mind and proclaiming progress. Illuminating light comes from the divine spheres of higher intelligence. Divine orders of beings exist who guard, guide, and overwatch mankind, respond to en treaty and trust and reveal the mysteries of God by spreading the knowledge of him to all seekers, through thought communion apprehended by the intellect. Concentrated thought attracts the assistance of these helpers and forces through the energy of mental action which qualifies self-realizing spiritual power, imparting wisdom and understanding through prayer and demand, that is, claiming by right of our divine powers the fulfillment of the promises that if we ask and seek we shall receive and find. The electric ether is a medium or agent and transmits energy, and individuals may control and use this vibrant force. The objective mind plans, and the subjective brings ideas to the surface of thought to evolve the plans into action. The objective mind desires things, and the subjective unfolds thoughts to realize them. By these upward steps advance is made along the way of mind privileges to will and demonstrate ideas, mental images, and plans. One may think while they act and act while they think. Investigation discovers new phases of knowledge and discerns more subtle expressions of intellectual capacities. To whatever the mind is most persistently directed will it respond in a reflex action of results corresponding to directed will and thought. Deep feeling arouses the emotions and is a mode of energy. Advancing knowledge and understanding discerns more subtle elements of these energies, as the perceptions become keener. Awakened latent energies may determine health and promote material conditions, and are the magicians who shall cause the daily life to blossom into realities. Early writers taught that the mind may condition the ethereal substance of which electricity is a constituent converting man into an apparatus of enormous power and explaining the accomplishment of the seemingly impossible. This admits of no analysis. The unknown quantity is the logos or word. Thoughts will offer their services if ideas and plans are projected, that is, pictured in thought and given attention snowing wisdom more than human. We must have practical effects and we have biblical authority for asserting that the higher intelligences, acting under God, respond to demand. The Holy Spirit or soul was breathed into man by God himself when we became living beings. Along the way shines the light. The more intense the thought the greater the power of its vibrative effect to attract what we persistently seek. We are active centers for the magnetic element of concentrated thought to manifest the law of attraction. To obtain its help, dwell constantly upon its reality. Opportunities will come as if they were ordered, and you will see forming about you the conditions which you desire. The subconscious region seems to represent the supply center, the objective the demand center of the universe of being. We must form a mental or mind picture of our ideals and hold it continually in thought until it manifests in reality. The electric ether transmits energy and individuals may use this vibrant force. There is a counterpart in the invisible corresponding to ideals, that may be transformed into realities in the visible world. The mind must be prepared to expect and receive impressions. A hierarchy of divine orders of beings communicate intelligence through thought, communion of saints. By their ministry blessings prolific in abundance descend an ordained bond of union between the seen and the unseen. 
Meditation preceding concentration may center the mind upon the nature and direction of the thought. Harmonious thought must prevail and preside and all contrary conditions banished and avoided. Joy is a constructive element and awaits recognition. Whatever thought is sent out returns in like quality in result, and draws in force in proportion to projected propelling vibrations. The ether governs organic life and transmits and receives sensory impressions, directed by the consciousness. It was known to the ancient philosophers as well as modern scientists that the ether is the source of all energy and of the nature of electricity. Under the direction of the will, which is also composed of subtle and varying aspects, it may be directed to wonderful results. The ether seems to supply the force through which the spiritual manifests in the material. Science has now demonstrated that etheric radiations accompany the exercise of the highest faculties of the soul. These etheric radiations entirely pervade all the elements of this universe and is the agent in the production of all phenomena. This etheric force gives energy and power to act. This etheric fluid is diffused throughout the universe acting upon the body and penetrating even the nervous system. I believe it to be the spirit or breath breathed into us by God himself when we became living souls. In the human body it manifests properties analogous to those of the magnet. There is a continuous exchange of forces going on between the living organism and its etheric surroundings. Through the activity of this subtle fluidic element intellectual conceptions are transmitted. Life is directed by the radiation of this force. Etheric groupings peculiar to each living organism have an influence upon the vibrations of the invisible ether. Thus explaining the process of vibratory effects and activities and their method of action independent of the conscious mind through the subconscious self-realizing powers. A divine world plan to guide the affairs of life. We know the subconscious or spiritual mind has powers of action independent of the conscious mind. The subconscious or spiritual forces impart knowledge and wisdom to direct it to the earnest seeker. This superior reason, this self-realizing consciousness is God in ourselves, a guide in the affairs of life. Happiness and the beautiful things of this world are intended for use and all right methods should be studied and adopted to attract them. Thinking creates ideas directing the faculties of the mind at will. The vibratory ether transmits the thought, it interpenetrates the plane or sphere corresponding to the idea sent out, and answering perceptions are communicated. This appears to be the method of the mind process. Specific instructions given the subjective mind that in conscious contemplation does the deep thinking, brings the information before the objective mind or that part of the mind in general use. Train and use these subjective powers, the divine medium through which ideas may be received. The celestial energy of the mind attracts power through which we conquer. Roused into activity by autosuggestion which is mental conversation with the subconscious and conveys instructions and requests, the subconscious generates and communicates answering replies. Intense feeling awakens latent faculties. Knowledge of the laws governing the subjective powers may control events. Persistence in seeking for opportunities creates them. The infinite communicates with the finite through the spirit or soul manifesting in mankind as the subconscious region of the mind. Spiritual gifts given to every man severally as he will. Occupying the mind with high ideals attracts perceptions from higher realms, the divine principle realizing in mind imagery. Faith imparts power. The Holy Spirit is an amulet always about us, the reward is manifest. The soul or subconscious is God in ourselves. Health and strength of body and mind may be augmented by keeping in mind this thought, things are as real as you make them. The function of the mind is to guide the will. Its laws may be mastered to guide the daily life. Contemplation produces a radiation of energy to the consciousness. To ask or demand, claiming by right of divine authority through the promises is to receive force and wisdom. 
possibilities and miracles are the same a means to demonstrate power. To cultivate repose and calm thought conserves energy. The great world religions show an identity of essence. Saints make real the unseen world. Force, powerful as electricity, resides in the individual will. As we advance along the path of self-knowledge, the more the serene mind serves the rightly directed will. The resources and depths of the subconscious are unfathomable and unlimited. It is the dominion of free will and must be controlled by reason. Knowledge of its governing laws is essential. Persistence in auto-suggestion, reiteration of faith and acknowledgement of its powers and self-mastery are necessary to control and command its services. With added perceptions higher radiations are presented and discerned. Knowledge follows demand, that is, by claiming the fulfillment of the promises that if we ask and seek we shall receive and find thought and will establishing power. The word necessities has expanded. The objective mind observes and reasons upon plans and ideals, then by suggestions to the subjective receives intuitions and answers of illuminating thought. The subconscious communicates with unseen powers. By concentration and reiteration of faith continuous power may be realized. Auto-suggestion is the great psychological miracle. The inspiring suggestion blesses him that gives as well as takes. The infinite consciousness should govern every action of life. Concentrate upon its supply. The infinite consciousness, one of the many aspects or reflections of the infinite, manifests in mankind as the subconscious mind or soul in the soul or Holy Spirit manifesting in a more subtle or spiritual form and manifesting in the ether permeating all things as the all-pervading transmitter of energy enabling the mind faculties through its agency to externalize ideas and determine certainties. By keeping in mind that we have these powers with wisdom to direct them, and claiming of the omnipotent within the fulfillment of the promises, we shall receive that for which we ask and find that for which we seek. To the faithful will the signs be manifest. With revealing light will come accomplishing power, the searchlight of divine rays illuminating the great and sacred spirit within us, which comes from the eternal abodes in meridian splendor and conquers by its innate force. Creations and Transformations Creations are but transformations. Will and thought are living forces. We are gifted with faculties improvable by use. Feel infinity within us and recognize its power. The spirit develops our essence and mingles it with the spiritual world. Our actions are accomplished in our thought before they are reproduced outside of us. God reveals himself unfailingly to the thoughtful seeker. What I tell you is the truth. The word has been distributed over the earth. You will have his power. You will be allowed to use it as you would use anything. Hanorada Balzac. Objective and subjective mind action transforms thought into creative power. The will through the nature and direction of the thought may determine results. The soul spirit or subjective or subconscious mind is the inner self, or ego identified with the infinite. The spirit works through the battery of the mind. The subconscious may act to the greatest advantage if trained, instructed, controlled, and commanded. The spirit emanating from God's self manifested, may control material results. Wisdom is gained by prayer and demand, that is, by claiming the fulfillment of the promises that if we ask and seek we shall receive and find thought and will establishing power an avenue for the transmission of intelligence and messages from higher realms. Ideas are imparted through the thinking powers directed to the object sought. The attention of the objective mind centered upon the ideal, puts the subconscious mind at work. God created man in his own image and through this self-realizing spiritual or subconscious mind mankind is endowed with power to transform thought power into creative power. Civilization is applied thought. Man adapts all things to his needs. 
Constant exercise of the mill creates ideas and illumination comes to the thinker who acts. Will force or energy finds expression in action. Etheric power, magnetic and electric with energy, illuminates the understanding through forceful thought evolving creative power. An inquiry is projected, response in thought form ensues, which evolves other modes of accomplishment. The function of the mind is to guide the will. A miracle is the working of a higher force through the individual. We have biblical authority for affirming possibilities to be unlimited. Meditation a Jacob's ladder upon which the angels of the God within us may manifest between earth and heaven. The psychic force is electrical. The subjective through the electrical thought and will manifests effects. New spirit has been infused into the accumulated knowledge of preceding generations. The recognition of these principles of guidance is important in practical life. To affirm health, happiness, harmony and prosperity attracts corresponding elements imparting vibrations of strength and power. Suggestion is an agent of spiritual energy. Launch your thoughts and the higher self takes control to attain realities. Reason must govern all. Higher planes of thought are subject to laws governing answering intelligence to the intellect. Creations are transformations of thought into action. Force in motion is a power and transfers energy and is action, force at rest sustains, and is repose. After auto-suggestion or suggestions or affirmations to self that what desired is possible, that the subjective mind has powers of accomplishment and will be amenable to control by suggestion augmented by faith and belief, let the subjective mind have expression, if instructed and trusted it has been found to faithfully respond to the confidence reposed in it. Success, a word unknown a century since, is now a sovereign ruler in all lives. It is said that one of England's most gifted poetic writers at first showed no marked originality, but affirming that her thoughts were imparted to her through higher powers impressing images of illumination and inspiration upon her thoughts she became capable of indefinitely sustained creative powers. The spirit leads to all good things. A firm peace and plenty, the supply will come. Mind force directs thought into action. Reiteration creates reality. Continually declare for increasing power and energy and answers of strength will come. All that life needs is possible to will. The will force may be disciplined to a marvelous extent. Will power has a relation to vitality. Energy is a vivifying and transforming force. Will has been affirmed to be a fluid taken up from the surrounding ethereal substance and transformed into energy. Angels are appointed guardians of and messengers to mankind. Man may realize his highest powers through the spirit. This ethereal substance is a subtler force than electricity, though of its nature. This mighty agency of power can renew the vital forces under the dominion of the instructed, educated, and cultivated will. Knowledge of and understanding of these powers and forces opens up new vistas of action. All is God and we are of God. Through the illumination of the Spirit may higher truths be apprehended through inner revelation from divine sources, obtained by concentration and prayer. The true light will be revealed. The power of electricity emanates from the soul. The Spirit's soul or subconscious in varied aspects and manifold forms communicates with, and compels all things to the service of mankind and is a manifestation of the presence of the infinite, to guard, guide and respond to our entreaty and trust. Electricity in its continuously realizing and deter mining forms is one of the most powerful manifestations of God its marvelous revelations only in the beginning. The power of electricity resides in and emanates from the soul. Along the length of the way shines the light, as the light illumines we advance proclaiming progress and new perceptions of knowledge and understanding. The spirit communicates with all things and informs and compels all things to the service of mankind through the power of thought and will. Faith quickens the spirit. 
Auto-suggestions given to the subjective mind stimulates it to action by imparting to it intelligent instructions. This once recognized its intelligence and resources may be commanded. To obtain its help its powers must be realized. As the light illumines one advances on the way. Power is transmitted, knowledge obtained. The object determined and kept constantly in view. Mind will be the generator, will the energy, and spirit the current, producing and manifesting effects, transforming and creating results. By concentrating upon these realities with an eager, attentive mind will the spirit respond. Self-confidence evolves energy to accomplish. The subjective entity is a potent force. Faith is essential in controlling results. Meditative philosophy is a garment of the human race. Conscious self-confidence stimulates determined effort. We are active centers for the etheric magnetic elements, connecting thought with limitless invisible currents, attracting by the power of our will what we persistently seek. A aim for the perfection of human intelligence. Mind may master all things. Spiritual truths may be discerned. Miracles are direct interposition of the power of God in the affairs of an individual through prayer and importunate. Circumstances are pliant to spiritual power. The etheric mind power attracts the all-encircling good. The mind in sleep may attract power and knowledge. Divine messengers impress wisdom and intelligence, our thoughts commune with beings who people immensity, broadening the mind and brightening the intellect. By exercising the faculties of the mind and will more power is brought into action. The spirit in meditation may commune with helpers and thus awaken dormant forces and powers. The subjective mind may be used to augment health and strength of body and mind by connecting thought with the higher spiritual powers. Intuition proves the presence and power of the subjective mind to manifest the divine powers of the will. Latent energies, undeveloped faculties, may be aroused to establish thought communion with inner intelligence inherent in the soul which may thus accomplish wonders, the unseen cause of the seen effect. Contemplation produces irradiations of divine energy to the consciousness. To call or demand for force and wisdom to direct it, is to attract it. Spiritual strength is absorbed. Possibilities and miracles are the same and a means to demonstrate power. Cultivate repose and calm thought. The great world religions show an identity of essence. Saints make real the unseen world. A force powerful as electricity resides in the individual will. Life is an educating process. The further one advances along the path of soul, or self-knowledge, the more the serene mind may command power to serve the rightly directed will. The subjective mind is a guide, trust it, believe in it and thank it. It is a living presence always at our side and command, Given from the beginning to do our bidding, its laws may be mastered to guide the daily life. We cannot fathom the depths nor measure the resources of the subconscious, it has means for obtaining information not shared by the objective mind. Its powers may be educated, trained and directed into channels of the greatest importance and service to each individual. The subjective mind will respond more faithfully with each succeeding success after much training it will end, with power and celerity. It will perform with fidelity the labor entrusted to it. Give it instructions with objective confidence, it will be found useful if stimulated by auto-suggestion and faithful endeavor. Its creative powers are beyond our ability to measure or even limit. Its powers, Activity and creative results will be increased by exercise, faith and belief. Make the subjective mind believe it can do a thing and you will find the results will be remarkable indeed. The subjective raises the information up to the threshold of the objective consciousness any information it desires to impart. The two minds or the two parts of one mind, the material or objective, the mind in daily use, and the spiritual or subjective or subconscious, 
which does the deep thinking interpenetrate. When instruction or suggestion is given the objective or material mind is in command, then the subconscious or spiritual or subjective mind takes the lead, obtains the information and imparts it to the objective mind through thought impressions. Divine messengers reveal celestial intelligence through these mind powers and establish creative thought. The mind becomes responsive to energy capable of indefinitely sustained creative power, with added perceptions higher radiations are presented and discerned. Thus by thought and will power may ideals be transformed into creations. Knowledge follows demand. The word necessities has expanded. Creations are transformations through the magic of the mind. Transformation of thought into action is creation. The subjective mind or soul does the real thinking, the objective mind observes and reasons upon plans or ideals of accomplishment, then by suggestions to the subjective mind receives ideas or information or answers of responsive thought. The subjective mind imparts knowledge and wisdom which proceeds from the divine helpers who minister to mankind, thus are ideals transformed into creations. The subjective or spiritual mind communicates with unseen powers of the universe, the objective mind supplying the ideals or objects sought. Educate the subjective powers by concentration, instruction and reiteration and acknowledge its powers by faith and belief it impersonates and realizes individual creative power partaking of the attributes of god power the more instruction given it and the more faith in its powers the more wonderful the results subjective psychology furnishes a key to progress the unseen world is peopled by helpers diffusing thought to receptive minds Finding the meaning of things, discerns the soul of things. Vibrations of truth are passed on from seraphim to cherubim through heavenly powers, archangels, and angels, and on to highly illumined thinkers in the world and on in innumerable ways to mankind. Thought is a mode of motion diffused through vibrations of the magnetic ether presenting ideas to the intellect and understanding in various ways to encourage and enlighten the world of mind. One of God's ways of speaking to mankind, through his messengers who in a degree impart his power to receptive minds. The invisible world of ideas has a counterpart corresponding to ideals, that may be transformed into creations in the visible world to serve the calm, well-balanced mind. The mind must be prepared to expect and receive impressions and all good thought heeded. An organized hierarchy of divine orders of beings communicate with mankind through thought and hand down the divine light to mankind, thus constituting the bond of union between the seen and the unseen. The early church fathers, the seers, philosophers and mystics expounding and explaining the Bible, prepared the world for this knowledge. When impressions are received they come from higher sources, from God's appointed, ordained from the beginning to instruct the world and communicate through the mind powers, knowledge and wisdom and understanding to be transformed into creative power. The electric ether transmits force to mankind vibrant with energy. The individual controls and uses this force, attracting and assembling power, discovering the soul of things. Mastering the laws governing these powers leads to higher wisdom and the knowledge that creations are but transformations. Illumination is mind uplifted to spheres transcendentally intelligent, the abiding place of ideas and source of all thought transmitted by thought. This wisdom has been imparted as the world has been prepared to receive it. All helpful knowledge should be studied so as to be applied practically to better individual and world conditions. Mind powers and privileges are forces to direct active and practical results to the effecting of all things possible through self-confidence and knowledge transformed into power of accomplishment. These higher planes exist responsive to the action of projected conscious thought transformed by God-given soul power into creations. New thought is old thought adapted to modern methods. The advancement of the world is forwarded by conscious realization that creations are but transformations. Open Sesame
Man may apprehend the infinite, not only in religion, but in all things of very real power which has held its own from the very beginning of the world. Max Müller Learn how to make your life valuable. Arabian night stories were only symbols of the elements man might control if he but robbed the lamp of his intelligence smartly enough. Every fairy tale has a meaning, every legend a lesson. Marie Corelli Possibilities and miracles mean the same thing. As you recognize your relationship to the supreme power you will come to know that yours is the right to demand as much as possible of this supreme or divine power to be expressed through you. When you desire or demand anything, you pray for that thing or in other words you set at work the force attracting that thing to you. As your power increases to bring results, you become continually a newer being through the action and working of thought and mind. The infinite is ever sending thoughts to this planet which change it and the people on it into newer and happier beings. They are the commands of the infinite saying to us you must know more of me. We will through such demand have more and more of the supreme mind manifested in us. Prentice Mulford Words spoken to unlock the door of success. Human beings are electrical motors. The mind is an electrical, magical, magnetic force. The will is a driving power and the spirit an electrical current connecting mankind with divine power. Divine spiritual power manifests in mankind as the spiritual or electric subjective mind and may be summoned, instructed, and commanded to do his bidding. Mind, will and spirit generate electric current, the motor power of spiritual energy and activity. By the divine given right of dominion and free will mankind is empowered and entitled to command this spiritual and contemplative part of the mind which does the deep thinking. This is an age of applied mind power. The accomplishment of practical results is demanded. To determine on accomplishment is almost accomplishment itself. The conscious mind controls electrical forces. The spirit is the potential, direct current converting this electrical energy into mechanical energy. Electricity, an ether movement, summoned, controlled and commanded, serves mankind. Thought precedes effort. Resident electrical forces may assume attributes of intelligence emanating from the divine realms, attracting unseen agencies who under God attend mankind and impart wisdom and power in answer to insistent demand. To summon, command and use these forces intelligently is an open sesame, word spoken to unlock the door of success. The electrical resident spirit connects thought with these invisible friends reflecting perceptions and vital power. Discovering and mastering the laws of attraction governing these realms inspires power to originate and create. These electrical magical privileges are intended to be an open sesame leading to a supply for every demand. The world of mind, when conscious of its powers, is illumined through the reflecting electrical spirit, the medium of union between the omnipotent, omnipresent, manifesting principle and mankind. By whatever nation, individual or under whatever form worshipped for good, the infinite, supreme God is the same animating, informing, all-encircling spirit governing in all things. The mind advances to higher planes of consciousness, according as the directed thought ascends in understanding and is continually unfolding still higher realms of knowledge. Wonderful orders of intelligences and regions of ideas exist. Heavenly beings, seraphim, cherubim, archangels, angels, ministering spirits, and helpers extending to every service rendered, and in every way in which mankind advances, progresses and is benefited hierarchy of divine orders who hand down the divine light and guard, guide and attend mankind an open sesame and means of manifestation for all nations and individuals. The spiritual or subjective mind is a means of communication with these divine orders of celestial powers. Ideas are invisible existences of external realities. Mind action imparts motion and manifests radiant electrical energy, the more mind action the greater the results. 
How to achieve practical results has been a problem of all times. The promises and New Testament teachings of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ bring God nearer to mankind. Special intervention may be evoked to produce material things from the unseen universe. God intends mankind to master the secrets of the world, the riches of the mind attracting the riches of the universe. The divine gift of the spiritual and subjective mind proves the vision. Law governs individual affairs of life and world systems, and magical mind powers attract unseen helpers ready to serve the enlightened will. Persistence creates demands and unfolds opportunities. The Arabian night stories symbolize and portray the powers and possibilities of the subjective electrical mind and are for the world. They are of varied origin Egyptians, Grecians, Persians, and Orientals, all contributing to their existence. Even the educated classes of the Arabs do not regard the most extravagant relations in the stories incredible. Genii are still believed to exist. The stories are considered to be founded upon still earlier stories and traditions, remodeled so as to picture remote periods of history. The religious and superstitious incident of the stories, and their fascination and supernatural romance have secured a hold on readers which has never relaxed. On one collection is inscribed, Extolled be the perfection of him who has thus ordained the history of former generations to be a lesson to those who follow. The lamp may symbolize the illuminating spirit, the will, the mind, the reason, the powers of mankind, of faith and belief, a light to guide the way and the path of all truth, power and success, an open sesame for all. Aladdin implored divine protection and thanked God for deliverance and said, there is no power or strength but in the great and high God. All countries have their belief in folklore, fairies, and supernal beings. The Bible chronicles supernatural and angelic ministrations. The early church fathers advocated the intercession of hierarchy of higher orders of beings who hand down the divine light to the faithful believers and act as intermediaries between God and mankind. We know the universe to be governed by a divine principle. These divine beings are a bond of union and open sesame between the infinite and the finite manifesting the immanence and accessibility of God. There is a correspondence between the revelations of the Bible seers, the accounts of the holy celestial visions of the saints of the church, the absorption of the mystics and the symbolic magic words open sesame of the Arabian stories representing and expressing a continuous, conscious realizing power of mankind, through commanding the spiritual or subjective mind forces an open sesame to power and successful achievement. The subjective mind power is of divine origin and its command and use was authorized when man was given dominion. The Christian scientists affirm an open sesame when teaching everything we wish is in the silence or the all good awaiting our recognition to become manifest. The silence is the daytime of the soul of the mystics who maintain that in meditation and calm and holy contemplation they have direct communion and communication with the divine spirit and acquire knowledge of divine things and receive impressions of true knowledge. In this practical age all are seekers, and the number continually becoming more numerous. The whole world is electric with energy. The magical mind, will and spirit intelligently summoned and instructed, commanding marvelous results. The Arabian stories counsel the worship of God and on the magic carpet of vivid description reveal the powers and possibilities of mankind, and may be one of the digits of the hand of God pointing to progress. From the dawn of the history of the world existences of wonder workers and influences above the ordinary or known have been believed. All miracle workers believe in the nearness of the unseen. The Arabian stories may portray the spirit that inspired Columbus, the American spirit of independence as well as the magical word of open sesame. To our heroic, enthusiastic, earnest and zealous ancestors we are indebted for the foundation of our glory. Solomon obtained wisdom by prayer. The Egyptians believed human beings to be composed of the body, 
the divine spark and that which connected the body and the divine spark, and prayed for sacred blessings. Wonders have already been accomplished and only in the beginning. Mind attention summons mind forces and draws constructive power in actuality corresponding to the quality of the thoughts sent out. This, at one time known to but few, is now, comparatively speaking, shared by many. Recognizing the God-given dominion and powers of free will, blessings number less as the stars, and wonders surpassing imaginings may be revealed and realized. Bible statements and early philosophy are now being scientifically proved. That the electrical energy of the mind, will and spirit is subject to law has been demonstrated. The subjective mind is the spiritual estate of mankind. In this vibratory domain the electrical spirit transmits and receives messages. The mind is interpenetrated by impressions from the higher planes of intelligence and existences of helpers to which the thought is directed by fixity of purpose. The subjective mind is the vehicle of the spirit, and maintained and intense thought stimulates mental activity. Pursuing ideas leads to being pursued by impressions of answers to ideas. Recognition of, and training of mind power is of practical importance. Thought creates an ether movement of informing and reflecting vibrations. Autosuggestion is a mental conversation with the subjective mind, conveying instructions and requests and generating and commanding power to receive replies. I can and I will serve as an open sesame. The knowledge and powers of the subjective mind are being more generally understood, its powers and means of information must be of divine origin as they can be accounted for and explained in no other way. In proportion as the subjective mind is trained and trusted will it respond by inspiring thoughts of confidence and impressions of practical ideas. Reiteration is the name given to persistent autosuggestion or instructions to the subjective mind powers, and is a law of the constructive and creative process of thought building and a means or plan for continually expanding progress. Acquired energy animates effort to obtain objects sought for. Electricity is revealing wonders. Early philosophers traced all things to the animating informing ether. Modern philosophers and scientists reiterate this and prove its vibratory powers. The magical wireless telegraphy demonstrates the elements summoned, commanded, and serving mankind. The spirit of the individual is identical with the spirit of God, affirmed the early philosophers. Modern mind students proclaim the marvelous powers of the subjective mind and agree that it has means of information and resources which demonstrate its divine source. The early philosophers affirmed that the deity stands in the relation of a giver to mankind granting what is asked and that those who displayed more aptitude than others sought for and obtained more of the informing spirit. The Arabian stories tell of the wonder-working lamp and of its attending servers and of the magical word of open sesame. In our era we are rubbing the lamp of the electrical magical mind and reason and our thinkers are proving that the infinite and supreme ruler of the universe will honor the demands of mankind. The mystic assures in holy contemplation direct communion with the Spirit of God. Students of mind science have proved that when the conscious mind is centered upon a purpose the subjective powers will faithfully perform instructions given to it and that with training and practice it will act more intelligently with each experience. Belief and faith are requisite and stimulate and encourage its powers. Instructions promote and produce perceptions. Intense feeling evolves ideas, these autosuggestions put the subjective mind at work manifesting the divine plan in self-realizing ideals. In the subjective mind, powers, will and persistent effort secures an invaluable ally and helper for all endeavor, concentration upon plans desired directs the will and mind toward information to obtain results. These powers must be felt and reiteration trains feeling. Magical forces are in every individual eager and ready to serve the enlightened will. Knowledge and wisdom are first revealed inwardly, dwelling on possible attainment, disclosing spirit-impelling energy. 
practical knowledge may be obtained by observation and experience. Those who do wonders work with God, by partaking in part of divine power one of God's gifts to mankind. Wonder-working angels accomplishing all things for mankind, forces of intelligence energizing the resident electrical mind powers. Mines of gold, precious gems, and metals and all valuable discoveries have yielded to demand and energy. The spirit, the breath, dominion, free will all bestowed by God, are electric with his power, inspiring mankind to go forth and find. Hierarchy preside over the divine orders of the universe who illuminate the intellect with intelligence and are an open sesame to mankind. The Arabian stories counsel the worship of God and us studies in cheerfulness, gratitude, hope and worship and depict the reward of those who by agreeable and entertaining endeavor make themselves valuable, all effort for good creating opportunities by the magic of the electrical mind power. These stories portray individuals guarded by helpers who may be summoned and commanded to protect and assist mankind. These surrounding influences may picture the marvelous subjective forces communicating and transmitting power to the seeker through identity with the animating universal forces. Earnest and intense desire attract these powers of reflex forces. May not open sesame symbolize autosuggestion. May not open sesame symbolize the potency of I can and I will. May not open sesame symbolize all effort. The story of the voyager who overheard the appeal to God of his carrier, saying, Almighty God, what has he done to obtain from thee a lot so agreeable, describes the voyager answering by giving the carrier a perpetual invitation to his feasts, honoring him by placing him at his right hand at his table and bestowing upon him gifts and riches, thus illustrating the efficiency of prayer. These stories spur mental activity. They picture all classes of people and individuals, and depict what may be summoned and commanded by determined will. To reach the heights has always been attended by industry. Aladdin, removing the stone, discovered a palace and three great halls. The palace of the mind powers reveals the halls of wisdom, knowledge and understanding leading to all truth and power. Robbing the lamp of belief. And faith illumines powerful agencies, summoned by the will and electric God-given spirit to exercise and command them. In these Arabian stories the recipients of gifts and favors and privileges thanked and blessed God and expressed gratitude for health blessings and benefits. Caution is extolled, which may also symbolize reason. They counsel the worship of God, honoring the divine principle of the universe animating all substance and accessible to all. Happiness, the good things and luxuries of the world acquired by right methods and with reason, are for all to enjoy. The powers and resources of the mind, will and spirit are an open sesame to unlock the door of success. The spirit of the elements has inspired genius in all ages of the world. Special responsive influences emanating from divine sources answer and eagerly serve the faithful. The forceful have unlimited powers at their command. The vigilant observer awakens effective electrical forces. Introspection affords views of constantly expanding, serving, Helpful agencies energizing vibrations of inspiration and power. There are many ways of accomplishing the same result. God is over all. A sage said, seek, persist and ask the omnipotent within remind it of its promises and keep it awake, and we shall receive that for which we ask and find that for which we seek. God's power is shared in part by those who by will and faith seek and use these channels of forces which respond to effort. Supply awaits demand and energy of thought and action. These Arabian stories portray the value of prayer and thanksgiving to God. Their worship and attitude towards God was most intimate, asking for what was wished in a confident and expectant manner. These stories are for the world and extol the perfection of him who has thus ordained the history of former generations to be a lesson to those who follow. The virtues of the past should be emulated, the errors avoided.
The stories commend the good and picture the awakening of the higher powers, revealing the hidden treasures and possibilities of mankind. Open Sesame, word used to unlock the door of success, is for all. The universe is inexhaustible in its sources of supply. The services of the elements, the earth and all nature await recognition and action. God reproduces his power in mankind through the electrical, all-encircling spirit. Mind images and impressions vary with the quality and direction of thought consciousness. Soul power supplies the motor action for practical accomplishment. The plan and object desired kept constantly in view and before the mind attracts the services of electrical spiritual forces from the abiding place of ideas. Divine orders of beings preside over the intelligences and influences who hand down the divine light to mankind, the seraphim higher than the cherubim, archangels, angels, divine orders of wisdom and understanding, all who help and serve mankind or in any way confer benefits and power on humanity. Health, prosperity, happiness, all things sought for good await the seeker, the industry of the mind and open sesame to achievement. Thinking creates ideas directing the faculties of the mind at will and has been compared to be similar in action to the telephone, transmitting thoughts in certain desired directions and receiving ideas and inspirations in response. The vibratory ether transmits the thought it interpenetrates the plane corresponding to the idea sent out and communicates answering perceptions of creative intelligence. This appears to be the method of the mind process. Specific instructions given the spiritual subjective mind that in conscious contemplation does the deep thinking brings the information before the objective mind or the part of the mind in general use, and presupposes that the mind is served by illumination conveying, informing, answering intelligence corresponding to requests. Train and use these subjective mind powers, the divine medium through which ideas may be received and transformed into electric action. By this power one conquers. Roused into activity by autosuggestion, intense feeling awakens latent faculties and knowledge of the laws governing the subjective powers may master and control events persistent reiteration proves and reveals the vision. Human beings have celestial energy attracting power. Light reproduces itself and creates by the vibratory process, reflecting ideas in answer to continuous particular insistence. Persistence in seeking for opportunities creates them spiritual gifts manifesting to everyone as he will. The infinite communicates with the finite through the spirit. The mind may be instructed and trained to be on the alert for practical ideas thus stimulating the innate capacities of inventive genius. These principles practically applied discover new experiences and advance mental and physical activity acquired through following the laws governing the subjective or spiritual mind power. Occupying the mind with high ideals attracts thought from higher realms. Thought may become an art. Answering many of life's inquiries, the divine principle in mankind realizing mind imagery. Self-realizing powers are constantly in process of unfoldment each advance verifying a vision of progress, disclosing still further possibilities. Reiteration holds the mind on the purpose, steady contemplation keeps the subject before the mind, belief strengthens the faith that the object and ideals are attainable. To think hard enough images realities and effects results, the subjective powers are impelling. Every ambition, aspiration, unusual idea, plan or endeavor for betterment is possible and comes from the subjective mind and should be heeded. The objective exercises free will and the reasoning powers and the two minds or two parts of one mind in harmonious action affects the results. Artistic inspirations, genius, Impulses, emotional involuntary action of memory are all creative gifts and attributes of the spiritual or subjective mind region and may act in harmony with the divine agents and all encircling power. Reason must control. Results affected are not chance. 
Ascending thought attracts descending power and assistance of superior intelligences invisible to vision, but visible in results. These God-given subjective powers can be AC counted for in no other way but by acknowledging their divine origin. The realm of the subjective mind powers and its faithful and guiding service by which special intervention is evoked is holy ground. The elements respond, the expectant, attentive mind receives impressions, autosuggestion instructs and trains, and belief, and faith promotes and proves the laws governing the activity and powers of this spiritual or subjective mind. Ideas have counterparts in the realms of intelligence ready to be attracted. Soul contact with soul discloses and demonstrates soul power and secrets radiating from these divine realms. Hidden mysteries and visions of superhuman splendor have been revealed by prayer and mystic contemplation. Christian scientists affirm that their presentation of truth enhances the mental and physical powers and gives ability to exceed the ordinary capacities, and that the human mind imbued with spiritual understanding has greater endurance, extending the influence of thought, giving mortals access to broader and higher realms. Christian science is worthy of and merits admiration and respect. It is a practical presentation and application of the Bible. God gave mankind free will and dominion and reason should govern all. Hierarchy preside over orders of divine beings extending over every service rendered to mankind. We are spiritual beings having access to and partaking in a degree of divine power these divine influences and helpers may be attracted by thought and summoned and commanded to serve mankind, through thought communion illuminating thought perceptions and activities. Deep feeling, vivifying mind imagery to be manifested in effects. Persistence is motor. One may think to order. The more perfect the belief and faith in the subjective powers, the more improvable by instruction and the greater the command of its activities and powers. Harmony is essential. Faith is dynamic in effect. Thought is interpenetrating and interchangeable, its quality directing the plane or sphere of intelligence it enters, assuming that conditions have an existence and an abode. By fixity of thought vibrations are communicated and sent out by the thinker and answering comprehensive thought received and established. The more intense the personality, the more conscious the thought impressions. The more the infinite plan is grasped, the greater the mind mastery and supremacy attained and mankind's dominion asserted. Educating the subliminal subjective mind or soul power sets one free. The objective is the consciousness of other things, the subjective is self-consciousness, said a philosopher early in the last century. Intense concentration is commanding the attention of certain thoughts to the exclusion of others. This power at hand and at command thought will follow the leading of the thinker. It is the table and feast spread before mankind and God's presence is felt to be imminent and real. Prayers and frequent thoughts of power through access to God attract indefinitely sustained creative inspirations of all intelligence. Soul forces send forth flashlights of celestial illumination. Countless numbers of helpers respond to the seeker. The will is untrammeled. God created mankind's spiritual beings and in proportion as the spiritual or subjective mind powers are cultivated and God's help asked will answers and rewards be received. God intended mankind to conquer by awakening the innate divine powers. These dominant electric forces of the world serve mankind in the affairs of life. In all countries and individuals has this all-encompassing power been manifested. Life is what one makes of it. Those who seek for blessings and happiness every day will have blessings and happiness every day, said a thinker. Open sesame, word spoken to unlock the door of success, symbolizes the magic in the mind, manifesting the method of materialized thought when believed, lived, and practiced. These thoughts taught and expressed in all times must be reiterated, the vision is seen, 
it can be proved, the spiritual or subjective mind powers vivifying results and proving them magic in the mind. The subjective power would seem to be a distinct or separate being, yet controlled by the one being. If to think of human beings having two separate minds, each under certain conditions capable of distinct powers or one mind possessing certain attributes and powers under some conditions and certain attributes and powers under other conditions. It seems as though the same philosophy might apply to the whole being, the spiritual being inspiring and commanding powers and forces for the material being to manifest and constantly attracting higher thought, and the services of the higher powers and Hierarchy of the divine orders of beings who hand down the divine light to mankind to inspire the intelligence and energize the activities of the material body. These reflections and meditations unfold the powers and possibilities of mind command. All are manifestations of the one great universal force, the origin and cause of all things constantly in process of realization. Open sesame is a master word for all mankind to transform the awe of knowledge into secrets of gold. Open sesame, a word spoken to symbolize and summon and command the power in the mind a key to unlock the door of success. Intuition teaches that the earnest longings of the soul will be heard and answered proving the existence of the bond of union between the individual and the responsive principle of the universe. The electric motor power of the spiritual subjective mind imparts action to conscious thought to reflect and reproduce constructive, creative power and forces. An open sesame for every demand from the all-encircling source of all supply. An organized hierarchy of divine orders of beings from seraphim and cherubim to archangels and angels hand down the divine light to mankind and celestial intelligences communicate with mankind through thought a bond of union between the visible and the invisible, between God and mankind. Max Miller in Psychology of Religion Angels signify messengers, communicate the gifts of God to man, spread the knowledge of the Holy Spirit and the profound mysteries of God so as to bring all to him. Angels are appointed guardians and messengers to mankind through inner revelation from divine sources. Through the Spirit the highest truths may be revealed. The archangels announce messages of special importance and sacredness. Rising from God these higher orders like mirrors reflect the divine rays. This radiant light gives forth spiritual knowledge to those who are ready to receive it. The angels have been likened to busy bees in God's service, flying between the flowers of heaven and earth, sweetly disposing all things, bearing vows and bringing gifts. Study in Dante, Ten Heavens, Gardner. The Central Calm. The central calm is a condition of peace. Peace is not necessarily passivity. The mind may be active and yet in a condition of peace that has overcome. Peace is a state of harmony. Peace is a state of confidence and trust and faith, the individual in, harmony with the attributes of the universal war or the divine principle of the universe or God manifested in ourselves. Divine orders of beings exist who overwatch guide and guard mankind, respond to entreaty and trust, reveal the hidden mysteries of God by spreading the knowledge of him to all seekers of higher wisdom through thought communion apprehended by the intellect. Concentrated thought attracts the assistance of these spiritual helpers and forces through the energy of mental action which qualifies self-realization so as to apprehend spiritual power. To find the central calm is to seek the God within. Self-confidence and a sense of superiority follows calmness. First calmness, then more calmness, discovers the central calm, the source of peace, God in ourselves and helps solve some of the mysteries and problems of life. Mysticism is the love of God a vision of the divine animating substance of the universe in all things. God in himself is an eternal will to all goodness. The spirit is in everything and is all in all. The more accomplishment for good the more spirit manifested. The union of the divine and human life makes man a partaker of the divine nature and is possible by contemplation. 
To seek and to find is to realize the reality of the central calm. May these divine powers descend and influence our thoughts so that we may receive that for which we ask and find that for which we seek. The early wisdom seekers, seers, prophets, and teachers knew that they communicated with unseen powers whereby knowledge and understanding was imparted to those who were to be guides to humanity. The Oriental philosophers have well-defined names for mind conditions in their endeavor to attain to the blissful tranquility of the central calm. These concise terms qualify to serve and teach a system so as to conserve and sustain energy, the Orientals are acquiring our methods of activity and progress and interchange of values as it were. Yogi is a wise man yoga is his philosophy, yoga being intense concentration. Prana is the infinite, omnipresent manifesting power of the universe. The breath being the most obvious manifestation of the prana. The control of this vital force enables one to manifest action and intelligence and energize health and strength. Commands from the mind are capable of giving strength and health, and develop physical and spiritual power obtained from the universal mind principle of action and energy and of banishing all undesirable conditions or elements. Maya, sense world, or illusions, disturbing thought, or anything allowed to disturb calmness. Atma is the inseparable ray of the one self the God above. Thought in all its varying aspects ever striving upward, becomes permeated by the Atma light. Mana is thought in all its infinite states. Realization comes by compelling will. All are parts or manifestations of the great or universal. Self, pulsing in innumerable forms. One breath breathing in all things. Nirvana self-control in all things, peace and harmony in all the faculties. The one who has overcome Maya is no longer acted upon by his surroundings but acts upon them and is able to make his own environment or surrounding or tranquilizing the heart with thought controlled, to which he allows no disturbing elements or conditions in his efforts towards nirvana or peace, the central calm of the oriental philosopher. The higher manas or thoughts has overcome the lower manas. Ignoring all undesirable thought or lower manas, Nothing can penetrate the aura or atmosphere or mind conditions which manifest in the physical conditions. The individual who has thus mastered and controlled self and attained harmony has overcome and is no longer acted upon by his surroundings but creates his own philosophy of life by recognizing his powers and privileges. Repose and calm thought conserves energy. We may direct the course of our ideas by the application of our notice. The Japanese nation assert their divine origin, incorporating the principles of their belief into their religion and daily life. The conscious mental and physical powers, manifest, according to the degree sought, claimed, and appropriated from the subconscious, the resident indwelling region given to mankind by the supreme intelligence, the first cause, to be utilized for happiness in this life. The God-given powers of free will and dominion manifest the infinite on earth bringing God nearer to man and are given for use for the betterment of mankind. Suggestions of confidence in our ability to succeed create action and explain the method of materialized thought possibilities becoming realities. Contemplation brings God nearer to manifest him to all. Intuition is inner knowledge. The subconscious mind is a faithful emissary and agent and transforms longings into enabling by faith in its powers. With clear perceptions established more subtle aspects of forces are discovered. The soul determines more distinctively spiritual phases, the subconscious forming an envelope as it were for the soul, or, as the insight becomes clearer, new tracks of understanding are discerned. The Eastern philosophers designate the different mind faculties and soul powers, mental and physical conditions and manifestations each emanation enveloping more subtle elements and phases each particular region and aspect regulated, and manifesting, according to the nature and direction of the thought and will acting as intermediaries upon the physical body and also between the thought world and the physical. 
world the unseen causes of the seen effects. The soul disclosing divine rays and emanations and more spiritual consciousness than the subconscious. The subconscious region disclosing more subtle elements than the objective each recognizing and manifesting conditions according to the nature and direction of the thought and will intelligence, insight and faith projected. These powers and forces are God manifesting in ourselves, a ladder of the heaven of the mind, where angels descend. The gods or immortals were an allegory to symbolize soul powers, Olympus a symbol of the spiritual world, the gods the intelligence between the invisible and the visible ready to serve mortals. The hierarchy of divine orders of celestial beings and angelic hosts are the bond of union, the connecting link between the spiritual worlds. There is always a mediator or vehicle of communion interpenetrating and communicating between the planes or spheres of action corresponding to the quality of the thought conditions. The Holy Spirit is an amulet always at hand and about us, the Holy of Holies, the Comforter promised from the beginning to abide with us forever. The reward is manifest, the subconscious is God in ourselves. To recognize this is to be born again. A sense of the presence of the Holy Spirit is wisdom and understanding and intellectual power the divine union through the breath of life breathed into us by God himself when man became a living soul. Who thus knows becomes united and merged in it. Who sees me everywhere and all in me him will I lose not nor will he lose me. Great is the thinking self, greater is the principle of judgment, and greater than the principle of judgment is he. Perceiving this self illumines mental images. God working through us answering our prayers and aspirations by inspirations. Angels are appointed guardians and messengers to mankind. The highest truths may be revealed through the Spirit. Good thoughts strengthen and invigorate. Cheerful and harmonious thoughts are active centers and attract and induce helpful influences. Music is harmony. Accomplished good is spirit demonstrated by self-preparedness. Our demonstrations stimulate and prove our faith, forming and creating a magnetic center which constantly widens as ideals are attained. In the pastorals and the Georgics the agriculturists were believed to have been supernaturally instructed primeval revelation concerning the crops, orchards, and vineyards. The early attainment of knowledge was through the awakened consciousness of the higher or spiritual forces and activities. Celestial intelligence handing down the divine light to mankind through concentrated meditation and illumined thought and perceptions. This radiant, divine light gives spiritual knowledge to the seeker to be forwarded to benefit humanity. Angels signify messengers and communicate the gifts of God to man by spreading the knowledge of the Holy Spirit and the profound mysteries of God to all creation so as to bring all to him. In free will man was made in God's own image to partake of his attributes. The hammer cannot produce work without the craftsman. The celestial intelligence carry out the divine plan influencing ideas in the material world by imparting divine truth from the supreme realms. The human soul is made in God's image and likeness. From the consideration of the grades of perfection in things there must be supreme intelligence by which all material things are ordained and this supreme intelligence is God. Intuition is the certain and manifest knowledge of invisible things. The angels are likened to busy bees in God's service flying between the flowers of heaven and earth sweetly disposing all things, bearing vows and bringing gifts. Uniting intellectual vision to the divine essence it becomes the intelligible form of the intellect. The archangels announce messages of special importance and sacredness. Contemplation manifests God to mankind. This radiant light gives forth spiritual knowledge to all creation. Thoughts commune with beings who people immensity, broadening the mind and brightening the intellect, responding to invocation and revealing wisdom to the seeker. The knowing self guided by the will influences the affairs of life. The psychic electric power of the spirit is the bond of union between the angelic hosts and mankind. 
Rising from God these higher orders communicate this divine light, this light and love like mirrors reflecting the divine rays to mankind. Every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of Light. Man ascends from things of sense to things apprehended by the intellect through visible things to the knowledge of invisible things. The human soul has three lofty prerogatives immortality, freedom of the will, and likeness to God. Divine light comes from the divine essence to the individual from the soul. In contemplation thoughts are lifted up and receive understanding, heavenly influences diffusing knowledge of divine truths. Individuals are communicating centers for the reflex action of thought and will to manifest divine attributes. Even as the universe is governed by law, so the individual universe of being and the whole system of created things, is governed by law and given for use. Ask and ye shall receive, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened, are instructions and privileges intended to be relied upon and demonstrated. In the degree that we apprehend, perceive and exercise this knowledge of the subconscious powers will we discover and discern new phases of these powers. The power of the mind over the body strengthens the mental and physical energies. Receptivity, recognition, belief and faith actualizes and vitalizes its supremacy. The inspiring suggestion blesses him that gives as well as takes. The soul rises to spiritual exaltation, intellectual insight and command. We have within us an entirely independent immaterial principle. It represents an exaltation above the temporal. Power responds to appeal and importunate. Cheerful and harmonious thoughts attract helpful influences, reveal celestial secrets and assist in all endeavor. Calm thought illumines superior intelligence. The awakening of the inner sense seems to demand quiescence of the body and the spirit of God. The mission of the Holy Spirit is to vivify the soul or spirit it responds to invocation and is the bond of union between God and mankind, constituting the psychic life of mankind, the central.